welcome back so in today's video i am going to show you a complete point of sale management system which is created by using the google sheet as a database and google web app script so this is point of sale management system designed for specifically all kind of businesses you can add your products here so you can also search the products let's take example if i want to search we can also search and filter by categories and we can also check the low stock items as well if your customer want to buy some particular products you can real time check how much stock available in your inventory okay so you can also check them so you can also see here this is a invoice details and if you already have a customer saved in your customer management system so you can select from the drop down otherwise you can add it manually okay and after uh, making this complete this form you can simply select the payment mode credit cash online and click on this post invoice and you can see the invoice will be posted to the all sales section now first we will check the customers okay so in the customers management system you can add a customer with these particular details and you can also check them their ledger because some customers purchase items on credit so you can see this is their credit and this is the total paid and now we need to give them this particular price and this is their total credit and this is not giving anything yet and this is the amount which a customer need to give us so if a customer paid you so you can easily record payment here let's take example the customer paid you 500 rupees the online and you can add it here any notes and click on this save payment so when you click on this save payment now you can see the minus 50 rupees you need to give them to that particular customer so if that particular customer again purchase on credit so this will be the deducted and it will be auto adjustment here as well so this is a one feature so in the ledger transaction history you can see all the ledger transactions in our system okay so in the all sales section you can see all the sales which we have generated you can edit the sale as well let's take example the customer don't want this particular laptop you can delete them and click on this save changes remember when you update or delete that particular data then in the product section the quantity of stock also updated if you reduce the quantity in product section will increase okay so let's take example a customers come to you and they want a print of their particular date data like previous month uh, invoice they want okay so you can simply click on this invoice icon and you can print the invoice of that particular customer of a specific date if they have okay and one thing when you give them uh, when you record a sale uh, the customer is saved in your customer management system because their email is saved in our system so they will get the invoice as well on their email okay so now you can see the MRIPUS for the point of sales system all sales show all sales management products so in the product section you can add edit or update the products let's take example if I want to add a product I just simply add here the demo one and the quantity is 10 and the item description and the category and the price is 130 and the cost price is 70 means 60 dollar is your profit and the 46.2 percent is your profit margin and you will simply select a particular image and click on this open and click on this save so this image first it will save to your google drive and then that particular link will save in your google sheet and after it's success done fully so you can go to your MRIPOS and now you can easily able to see here the product is added it successfully so the one thing is important so I am in a different country how I can change this particular currency symbol don't worry about it just go to your setting sections and change to your preferred one okay let's take example I want to change it to the US dollars so I just simply update the data from here and click on this save currency setting 
so when i click on the save currency setting it means my overall the system will be changed to the new currency setting and this is the automated daily sales report you just simply add the recipient email address for test uh, send test email and enable daily reports it will ask you the email address on which email address you want daily reports let's take example here uh, you can see this is a daily sales reports the total revenue the cash and the credit and everything you can see here and one more thing in the profit report section in the profit report section you can see the total revenue you have generated in your system and the total cost you have spent in these particular items and the total profit you will generate is this and your profit margin is this and you can see this is your product and you have sold two items your revenue is this and your cost is this and your profit is this and your profit margin is this okay so one more thing important in the all sales section in the all sales section this is a invoice let's take example i just copy this invoice number and go to the returns section so in the return section you can see a process return we just need to enter our invoice number we will check on our customer invoice print okay so if a customer come back to you after seven days and want to refund you can simply enter their invoice number and fetch so you can see the invoice details is found in our system and they want to refund and they want to refund the smart TV so you will uh, make it zero because the items you don't want to refund make it zero if you want to refund make it that particular items okay now you just give the describe the reason here and click on this process sales return after process sales return system will refresh automatically okay so system will refresh and go to the returns section and now you can able to see here that particular return completed successfully so in the product section the quantity also updated here okay so don't worry about it okay one more thing in the user section you can block the access of that particular user to login so you can simply block activate or deactivate from here in the setting section you already know and in the add user section you can create a particular user let's take example i am going to add here a particular user remise at the rate gmail.com this is my user this is my email and this is my password and click on this registry so when I click on this registering, now you can see here the salesperson is registered out successfully. We just log out from here and enter our new credentials and click on this login. So when I click on this login, as of now you can able to see here I am successfully logged as a salesperson and here's my auto assigned ID here i cannot select any other okay so one item in low stock you can also check them and what is that item you can filter them easily as well let's take example this is your system and if you want to sell this particular item so you can see and then you can also customers you can also add the customers returns or you can check your my sales as well so click on this post invoice so your invoice is being generated and posted to the my sales section in the my sales section you can go and check your sales so this is your sale you have created right now and if you want to make a print you can simply make a print something like that hope you like this version and you like this video and you like this web application point of sale system so i will be very thankful to you to support me please comment in the video so we can improve this much more